I ran home at the end of school. Oh god, I can't wait. I honestly really like Akaza and his character in Demon Slayer. I mean, his past was just... OMG, the poor thing. <laughs> Best thing ever, goddammit. But, oh, uh, anyways. I looked at my clothes. Hmm. Him. Well, he said the, the new, res new restaurant, right? Oh, wait. There's a roller skating rink there. Oh, this is going to be awesome. I picked an outfit. This one, uh, you get to choose. <laughs> I was going to put it on when suddenly I felt a shiver run up my spine. I set my head to look at the window, looking for something, anything that could explain the feeling I just had of being watched. Nothing. Just the tree outside my house, the quiet city noises, and me. I held my breath, half expecting someone or something to pop out of nowhere. Still, nothing. I shook my head and tried not to think about it, but I just couldn't. I then headed towards my window, closed the blinds even more, and locked it. I'm on the third floor, so I never really lock it, but there's this nagging feeling. I turn around and huff. I'm probably imagining things, but just in case, before I leave, I'll lock everything up to double check, to triple check. I changed then my outfit. I waited for a bit on my phone and then left the house after triple checking everything. Third POV. <laughs> the tree outside your room rustled before a body dropped and landed elegantly on the floor. T smart girl. I was hoping I could get in and take some pictures, but I'll have to wait. The figure walked away towards their house. They went in and headed to their room. The unidentified person on a but the unidentified person pushed a button and a small entrance showed itself. It entered and looked around. Photos. There were hundreds of photos of you. Some of you laughing, some of you smiling, some of you being tired, annoyed, angry, sadistic, sad, crying, in your bed, in your room, in your kitchen, at the market, in your bathroom, and even at school. Oh, my lovely Yin, how I adore you. Your POV. Well, I'm just standing outside my apartment right now. I see someone waving at me frantically while they seemingly to be running. Oh, hey, Akaza, no need to run. Not going anywhere. <sighs> I'm sorry, I did it. I did, I make you wait long. No, no, not at all. I just came out. Uh, great, great. Um, shall I escort you? M Melancia Lee? Huh? Okay. He grinned teasingly as he gave me his arm like a gentleman from the, the 1960s would. I laughed and decided to play along. Why, yes, my good sir. <laughs> I took his arm gently and started to walk around. Once again, my stomach twisted and dread shortly after we began to walk. I started to look around to see if there was a cause to this feeling. Uh, you okay, Yin? You've been looking around for the past five minutes. He asked me worriedly. Um, Akita, can we speed up? I, I think someone's following us. I say swiftly. He looked at me straight in the eyes, and seeing how nervous I was, he knew I wasn't joking. He nodded and immediately took action, scooping me up in a <laughs> scooping me up in a princess carry and sprinted. We arrived at the restaurant five, five minutes later. It should have taken us a good mm, fifteen, maybe twenty. But since he ran, we got there earlier. He gently set me down and looked me in the eyes. Yen, 
Why do you think someone was following us? He asked me worriedly. Um, I know this is going to sound weird, but I just, just feel it. You know, when someone stares at you intently, felt like that there wasn't just a sick feeling in my stomach that we needed to get out of there. I'm now ridiculous. He smiled at me, caringly. Ian, it's always better safe than sorry. I trust you. You, if you felt that we needed to get away, it was probably a very good reason. Now, shall we continue this hang out? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Thanks, Akasa, for believing in me. No problem, Yin. We, en <coughs> sorry, same place. We entered the disco-looking restaurants. Oh, wow, how vintage. This looks great. Hello? Table for how many? The server cut us, cut off our amazement of the place. Two, please. He escorted us to a small table. A few minutes later, we ordered some burgers. As we waited, he said, You know, Yin, I was really worried when I heard what happened. You know, the girl pushed you down the stairs. Huh, yeah, that was really something. She thought that me and Tanja were a thing, and that I was taking him away from her. I don't know, honestly, it was just so weird. Good thing she got suspended. For five days. What? Five days? The hell? She could have killed you. Yeah, but it's a school system. Honestly, it's so stupid. Well, I'll make sure she never tries anything ever again. Oh, oh my hero. I teased him with a grin. Our food arrived and we both ate like some starved wolves. After eating, we decided to roller skate. Come on, Akaza, don't stand still like a statue. The point is for you to skate. How in the hell are you so good at this? Are you sure this is your first time? Yeah, pretty sure I'd remember doing so. I smiled cheerfully at him. Lo and behold, a stiff Akaza. He keeps falling every time he tries to actually skate. It's my first time ever, and I'm just doing so well. Like, I haven't fallen once, and even I did a couple of tricks. Um, Akaza, why don't you hold my hand? That way I can catch you if you fall. He hesitantly gave me his hand, and we glided slowly around the ring. There you go. Just like that, Akaza. He suddenly fell on his back. His eyes were wide, and my face was red like a tomato. Um, Akaza? You okay there? Yep, all good. Why would I be okay? I'm super duper mooper okay. He screamed. I gave him my hand once more and pulled him up. He kept blushing the rest of the time we skated. He, we consolidated this hangout in front of my apartment. Thanks, Akaza. This was such a great hangout. We should do it again sometime. I'd love that. Bye, Ian. Good night. He grinned like a kid and walked away. I think I saw him saying yes and jumped, jumping once as he bumped his fist upwards. I hugged in amusement. What a nice guy. I opened my door and... Blank. Something's wrong. I can feel it. The air is heavy with tension. I'm breathing hard. Something's wrong, something's wrong, something's wrong, something's wrong, something's wrong. Something, it's, it's just so wrong. I slammed my door and I slammed my door shut and stood outside of my apartment. My breathing was r ragged. My heart was beating so quickly. I thought it was going to burst out of my chest. I can't go back in there. There's no way in fucking hell. I'm going in there. What should I do? I gulped as I took out my phone. I don't want to do this, especially since she's been extra strange lately. But right now, I really don't have any better. I tapped in a number and called. It rang a few times before someone picked up. Hey, um, can I ask you a favor, Nezuko?